So in 1872, they had a very large earthquake here in the Owens Valley labeled the Lone Pine Earthquake. It was about a 7.9, they estimate, uh, somewhere between that and a 7.6 or something. But I think with the damage and the heights of the scarps in the area that I think it might have easily been in the 7.9 range, if not bigger. It was in the middle of the night and uh, there weren't many people here but miners and some pioneers and, and you know a few of the native tribes were even left in the area but um, there wasn't much and here we are at Diaz Lake which was formed by the earthquake um, right up here you'll see a Diaz Creek right there coming out of the mountain here and it flows there's actually a few uh, braids of the stream but not a big flowing stream more of a snow melt stream and uh, it, there was a ranch here the Diaz family ranch was right here and a lot of the big trees here on the east and west side were left over from that time period and uh, well when the earthquake struck it lifted the ground on two sides of this area and the bottom where the lake is dropped and that's what formed the lake so then the creek basically filled up uh, the lake and flooded the ranch and then the family basically sold it all off eventually and uh, it, now it's a county park but let's go take a look at the fault scarp which is right here in front of me and we'll just show you it's really windy over there so I'm gonna just show it I don't know that I'll get a lot of narration in but you're gonna get to see the about six to eight feet of the fault scarp here which is actually more than ten feet because the water level it drops another maybe five to seven feet there so you're looking at about a ten to twelve foot fault scarp so let's go check it out So right here in front of me, you got a good view of it. I'm about eight feet above the water. This is the fault scarp from that earthquake. Sorry for the wind, guys. All right, I'm now just north of the city of Lone Pine, basically just on the outside of the city limits. And I want you guys to see just how powerful that earthquake was and why I don't think it was in the low sevens because a low 7.0 would never do this kind of damage. But check this out. This pile of rocks in front of you is not a pile of rocks. This is the earthquake fault. This is where the uplift happened. That's right here where my fingers are. You see that, that rise so all the way up to this point right here, down to here. It's hard to look at as far as on camera and get a, a feel for how tall that is. But in person, I can tell you that's probably about uh, six feet. That's about 15 feet right there. And this was uplifted all at once. And you can see all the glacial boulders from when there were glaciers here and they dropped all these boulders, but look at that. You can see the, the cliff there. But that's incredible. I mean, that the power of that. I mean, this should be like a historical landmark here and put some signs up and stuff like that. It would be great. 
but the the absolute power that it took to do that kind of damage and uplift them I and I have to walk away from it just to get perspective but as you can see it now it goes all the way down all the way and this went on for about 60 miles that break I mean it, it does some you know some curves and such through the different areas and uh, some flooding and other things have changed the way it looks and it's it's eroding you can see the erosion that it's occurred I heard that it was actually a little bit taller than this but the dirt is you know it's been over a hundred years so but the power of that is incredible so I highly recommend when you come to Lone Pine come here and check this out let's go we're gonna go up a little bit and see some more of it we're gonna drive up and check out some more perspectives of it so we'll see you at the next spot So you can only imagine how scary it was for the people that lived here to, to have that power of uplift of over 15 feet, like right in front of me, that's 15 feet right there. And to think of what it took to push the earth up that much is, is just crazy. And this went on for miles and miles and miles. And right down here, where you see all the trees here in the foreground, that's Lone Pine. So they really felt it. And what's really going on geologically, they thought it might have been that this fault zone, the thought process behind it, at least that's changing soon. I think they're going to have some new theories, but they think that this fault zone is experienced what they call glacial rebound. And that's when this whole range was buried under, you know, miles of ice, which is extremely heavy and and it was basically pushing down on those mountains, the Sierra Nevada, and um, even this side uh, experienced some of the same faulting. Um, the whites and the Inyos, these are the, <coughs> excuse me, these are the uh, Inyos right here. But basically, this valley and that earthquake, this side from here, down so going this way fell so all this land out here in this valley it all dropped it slid down and uh, that side went up it's said that the Alabama Hills which is part of them right here these redder hills right here all that that way they say that those those hills used to be close to 10,000 foot mountains they've lost about three or four thousand feet to that slide of the valley dropping further and further and this is spreading apart so those are kind of going that way and this is and this side is going the other way and this is all just kind of slowly dropping the valley so it's inevitable guys for another very large earthquake in the Owens Valley and um, I I don't want to see people die, but I definitely want to see people uh, experience the power of this and get to witness, you know, a little, got a little taste of it with Ridgecrest, but this one was much more powerful. I mean, look at that. Look at my car for perspective. That car is about six feet tall. I mean, that that's crazy. Yeah, and all these glacial boulders were exposed. These were all underground when that earthquake hit. So under me, in this sand, are these boulders. And uh, it, when the earth popped up and this slid down, all this got exposed and then eroded away. 
but that's that's just crazy that how powerful that is very cool to see and um, super interesting to read about so highly recommend you go on and uh, google around about the 1872 Lone Pine earthquake we got one more stop and then we're gonna move on so let's go see it we're gonna go up here and check out these boulders these big glacial boulders there's an interesting piece up here I don't know if you want to call it an artifact but piece of history so let's go up here and check this out so on the top of this boulder you're gonna see these little holes those are drill marks they were put there by the USGS that took samples from this rock to study and uh, they used that data to determine where this rock came from originally and uh, they determine things like you know this rock for sure came from up there and rode down this canyon sorry for the wind rode down this canyon on a glacier and was dropped off in this area on a alluvial fan well you see the Alabama hills were not here and there you go so that rock made it through here and this is where it ended up and uh, here you go this is where it is now so they look at the they look at all that data and use it to study and learn about fault zones and and all of that but the interesting thing is you're looking at a, a, you know a boundary in the plate right here below me and um, it's crazy to think that right below us for miles below us is where that, er that earthquake originated and here you know being on top of the fault you get a better perspective up here check out that view you can see the the ridge line of it and it just goes out into the valley it goes all the way that way all the way north crazy how far it goes and it makes its way it kind of snakes around all the way north of Big Pine and all the way south of uh, Red Lake. But this is a great place to come and bring kids. So that's going to be it from the Lone Pine Earthquake Scarp. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Sorry for the wind. It was a great, great little visit to come out here and check out the scenery and see some geologic history of the Owens Valley and our state and our country. So pretty neat. All the way down there, 60 miles of 15 plus foot of displacement that's awesome all right hit that like button that subscribe button stay tuned for more fishing hiking camping geology historical sites and other fun things that you can do by yourself or with your family most importantly guys get out there yourself come check this stuff out this is what it's all about get out there get outside we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching